there is a new Thousand Trails campground in Western Colorado that we personally are really excited about. It's called Blue Mesa Recreational Ranch and we're gonna give you a tour and a review. The campground is located near Gunnison, Colorado, and being in Colorado puts it part of the Southwest zone. If you only have a Thousand Trails camping pass, we get it as part of our Elite Thousand Trails membership, and it's also seasonal from May to October. The sites are really nice. When we got there, there was lots to choose from. Most of them have a picnic table and a concrete patio. There are a few issues to be aware of. Some of the sites are a little bit narrower than others, so you can be kind of choosy to get maybe a better one. And make sure you bring extra hoses and power cables because for most of the sites, the connections can be a little bit far away. Our neighbor, for example, had four lengths of sewer hose to reach his sewer port. We didn't really have that problem at our site. There's also a difference in some of the sites between 30 and 50 amp, most of them are 30, is that right? Yeah, only on one side of the park did they have a section of 50 amp sites and there's a little bit of an extra charge for those. We have site 354, which we're really enjoying because it is at the end of a row. So our site is a little bit larger because we don't have anybody immediately adjacent to it. And also being at the top of the hill, I feel like we have some really nice views, but that also makes it a little harder getting to and from some of the amenities as we're walking because then coming back up the hill <laughs> <laughs> is a bit of a workout. They also have a lot of cabins here which look really nice. There's some at the top of the hill which is where we are. There's also some closer down by the playground which we really like the look of because they're a little bit more secluded back in the trees. There's also a bunch of trails up in the hillsides here so you could go for a walk, you could potentially take your bike out, and it's just a nice view because you look up into the hillside here or down into the Blue Mesa Reservoir down below. This park also has a whole bunch of features and amenities. For starters, there's an entry gate for added security, they have a propane fill station at the front, there's laundry, and an office where you can pick up packages. So it's really nice to be able to pick up packages here. You can have them shipped straight to the campground. And at least as of the time that we're filming us, they are not charging for it, so it's super convenient. It's also worth mentioning that they have cable TV here and Wi-Fi, which we'll talk about a little later. There's a clubhouse up front, which is actually where the office is that Kevin mentioned as well. And they have periodic activities for adults and kids. We heard about some arts and crafts going on for kids as well recently. So just lots of stuff going on in that clubhouse. There's also an indoor pool, which is really nice. Another great thing about Blue Mesa Recreational Ranch is that it has not one, but two pools. And we're gonna go enjoy one of them today. The kids and I actually have been going most mornings this week, and today we're gonna take you along. As you can see, this is a very, very nice pool. And again, it's just one of the two. I really personally like that the pool is shaded early in the morning um, until about 11 or so I've discovered. And so that's really nice. The pool is also heated, so you don't have to show up and get in frigid water. We're happy to have it to ourselves this morning. There really haven't been that many people the mornings the kids and I have come. I think most people come later in the day. But for now, we're gonna enjoy having it all to ourselves. There's also a fishing pond, which we haven't had the chance to try out, but it's neat walking by it, and it's for 12 and under. And if you continue down that hill, you end up at the Family Center, which is another nice place to hang out. They've got games and all sorts of things to do in there, as well as a little store attached to it where you can buy ice cream. And that sits right next to the playground, which we loved and we went to all the time, <laughs> right. which is next to another amenity, the mini golf section that we also got a lot of use out of. Right. Our kids would go to the playground and play mini golf all day, every day, I think, if they could. Right next to the playground there, there's also a basketball court and horseshoe pits. 
And another neat amenity that I haven't seen in any other campground is the horseback riding stables. So we have not gone on a horseback ride, but we have talked to another family who did, and we walked by the stable, so it's neat to go back there and you could see the horses. You can go on horseback rides if you want. We heard that the rates are fairly reasonable as well. It just isn't right for us right now because I can't ride <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> but it is neat to see them going up into the hills and on the trails here right from our site. Outside the campground, there are plenty of other things to do as well. I mean, the campground is keeping us plenty busy. You could just be here and not go anywhere else. Easily. Yeah, but you should because there are a lot of things nearby. So Gunnison, Colorado, just a quick drive into town. You, If you have kids, you will find a pretty awesome playground. And right there is also a water feature for kids to play in. So <laughs> we spent a lot of time there in town. There are restaurants and just events as well. Definitely go check that out. A little bit further away is the town of Montrose, which is a bit bigger if you need any bigger town amenities like that. But even better than that is Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. The Gunnison River flows past the campground down below. We'll talk about that in a second. But it ends up going into this amazing canyon with 2,000 foot walls. It's kind of narrow in parts, so it's just really spectacular. There's also the town of Crested Butte, which is a resort town north of Gunnison. That is also really neat. We've been to both of these places in the past. Down below the campground, you see the lake that is the Kiriakanti National Recreation Area. It's a great big reservoir. There's hiking and boating, and it's just, it's also just super scenic down there as well. A couple of issues that we have encountered ourselves here that are worth mentioning. The big one is internet connectivity. We personally have had no internet connectivity on our own devices. Oh. Yeah, we have AT&T, we also have Google Fi with T-Mobile and US Cellular, is that yeah. right? And yeah, unusable, yeah. <laughs> no connectivity. But the campground does have free Wi-Fi, which is really nice. And we have been able to use a bit, Kevin will tell you a bit more, but for the really important stuff that we've had to do, like we've had a few important phone calls and some video chats, we have actually gone into Gunnison just to make sure that we have no problems. Yeah, the internet connection is really spotty up at our RV. They do have some wireless repeaters that bring a connection around and it kind of works for some really, really basic stuff. If you want to do anything more than that, you really need to go down to one of the clubhouses. The internet works a lot better there. I still wouldn't say it's super reliable, but for us, we were able to get done whatever it was that we needed to do with the exception of a video chat or something like that. We have seen probably more people here with Starlink than in any other campground we've ever been. And I haven't used it myself. I've heard it's great. It would seem to me that if you need reliable internet service, that that would be the way to go. This time of year, there are also afternoon storms. That has been a pretty consistent thing. In the afternoon, the dark clouds roll in, the wind gusts start up, and then, um, not every time, but most of the time there's a little bit of rain as well. Luckily it passes and then the evenings have been really nice, but be aware of that if you have things <laughs> strewn out and about. Don't leave your awnings <laughs> yes. out if you leave the campground. Exactly. Pull those in because it does get quite gusty. So our overall impressions are that we really like this campground and we would definitely come here again. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. I think next time, knowing that the internet is what it is, we'd probably plan for that a little bit better in advance mm -hmm. but overall the internet was manageable we also had some pretty severe truck problems while we were here and i've got to say that the staff was super accommodating everybody was very friendly and it made that situation a lot nicer to work with we hope our review helped you decide and that you get to check it out someday see y'all next time Bye. bye